Hey everyone, it's Lynn again at Meet Me Ranch, and it is actually Wednesday, so I'm on time this week to do the crack key update, and everything's looking good. I did remove two jars that didn't sprout, and again, those could um, just be from some bad seeds that I had. Uh, I don't think it's the method itself, um, because some of these are just doing really, really good. So, um, here under my bright whites, are my lettuces. I have harvested a few leaves um, for myself. So they're doing really well. And of course this butterhead is lagging behind but it did sprout. Um, and then down here under my grow lights, the full spectrum, they're doing well. They look funny under here because of the color of the, the light. but. They are quite nice um, and doing really, really well. So maybe even better than under the bright whites. So um, as a matter of fact, maybe you can see here this marble bib that's been under the bright whites. It looks great, um, doing really well, but the marble bib under the spectrum is getting its coloration it just looks a little bit I mean obviously it looks bigger healthier I guess um, but it's also getting uh, the coloration on the leaves uh, that a marble bib would have so it's, the reds are coming out so most likely because it is under um, the full spectrum lights it's allowing all the um, true colors to come out that should for that breed or variety of lettuce so anyways um so that's kind of cool news uh they, these lights are also closer to the plants so it could be um, partially from that i did start just for an experiment um just to see if i could grow some seedlings this one's a tomato this one's a snow pea and a different kind of tomato so just have a couple of seeds in there i just did it the other day so they haven't sprouted yet um, but I also started um, my tomatoes down here. I think I started them on the 9th, and they're just now starting to come up. So, and then um, maybe on the 12th, I finally got my peppers in. Those will take a while to come up. So, no action there yet. But I did just want to see what the cracking method could do as far as starting seedlings of different sorts, um, just to see how they do if they're any better to start them this way not that that would be very um space efficient if i wanted to do a whole bunch but cracky's looking really well here's those two marble bibs again one under the bright white lights the other under full spectrum getting some nice coloration in there and i do have all my seeds out i'm sorting seeds getting ready to start some and donate some. It's a big seed drive in my town for um, people to start their gardens since everything's closing down. Um, so I'll be sorting through all those seeds. I'm also starting a different crack key setup um, using these containers. I started working on a video for those. So these are plastic like shoebox size containers and we drilled two holes so we can do two plants. And I taped off a section to have a little window to be able to monitor water level easier than I can in these. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that since this is a, a bigger container that we can get bigger heads of lettuce. And I have six of those. They're all down here, so getting ready. I'm gonna do that today, get those all started so different lettuces maybe some spinach um, some stuff i have started outside i'll post a video on that um, and that's it for now so i did want to just show a little sneak peek underneath my desk of my helper here this is miso miso's been with us since 2009 so she's the og she went on all of our rv trips with us around the country and so she's our only one um, that's been there since the start. So anyway, she's got her motor going. 
And every once in a while, a little ray of sunshine hits her, so she's happy tucked away under there. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Coming back for the update. Oh, real quick, I did add a quarter of a teaspoon more of the um, fertilizer, the, the nutrients. Um, same nutrients, this Texas tomato nutrients, add that on Friday. Um, so everything still looks really good and everything is pretty tasty so i think i'm going to start some arugula that'll be a real true taste test there because i love arugula i love the spiciness so um, i'll start those in these um, boxes and then that way i can just be sure that uh, the flavor is coming out so thanks again thanks for watching thanks for supporting us here at tales from the mutiny you can follow us on facebook at tales from the mutiny instagram at tales from the mutiny our blogs at tales from the mutiny.com and Thank you so much. Have a great one. Take care of each other.